Here we go. Pilgrimage. Because it is my guilt, I claim you grievous miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Forge your punishment and nail it deep. Shape my guilt once again. She was grabbing that dude's penis. Did you see that? Just want to throw that out there real quick. Hmm. Have fun with this game? I hope so. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. Sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. Of Shizkimbabwe. Miracle, she's King Babwe. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Uh, Biliary Flask. Uh, press LB to consume one of your biliary flasks and recover vitality. These consecrated flasks are refilled by kneeling in a pre pre a deal. Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. Oh, great. Controller disconnected. I just had to press B. Anyways. I can actually slide without having to pick up a power up? Hell yeah. Uh, pre a deal. Press Y to rest at the pre a deal, saving your game and refilling your health and flask. Upon death, you will respawn at the last visited pre a deal. Resting will cause enemies to respawn. Why? Why again? Oh, 
Okay. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Game options? Oh. Watch out with the chandelier. Oh, okay. Warden of the Silent Sorrow. Requiem Aeternum. Just hit him with your head. Oh, he's gonna drink that blood. I'm pretty sure that damn thing's sweaty as hell. He didn't even drink it, he just washed himself with it. Okay, I accept. Why am I not drenched in blood again? Huh. Uh, you need key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Press any button to continue. Okay. The hollow line. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance. As yours is silence. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. How is he reading it? It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one, at the end of the trail, Carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral. In the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, 
you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. You have acquired Thorn. Inventory. You can check out the items you have found so far in your inventory while, pre while playing. Pressing to open. A uh, small gift from Dio Gracias nailed into the eff effigy of the twisted under the guard of your sword. The thorns are risen from the miracle feet on sin and guilt, growing with the burden that its bearer carries. Uh, Dio Gracias farewell. Brother Abbot, you know that I have been a scribe in this abbey since I was but a wee child. I have written about our church, our saints, and our miracle of the greatest pain. I must inform you that I have made the decision to leave, although I intend to continue writing. In these walls, I cannot be a true witness of the works of the miracle. I need to appreciate with my own eyes your holy works. I will be a teller of the miracle wherever it takes me, rain or shine or scourging sand under my bare feet. Hmm. Huh. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Wait. Die, sucker. Uh, advanced technique parry, counter attack, retribution. Press RB to parry. This maneuver allows you to counter weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes. During a counter, press the X button at the moment of impact to perform a retribution, increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. Hit me. Whoa. Oh. You have acquired Verdialis of the Forsaken Hamlet. In order to use this prayer, open the inventory and equip it. Press any button to continue. Uh, Verdialis of the Forsaken Hamlet, song that filled the air during the festivities of a lost village. Its power finds its way through the floor. 
continues through walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the penitent one. The ringing of a local shell horn used to precede this chant, by, but now only silence remains. Uh, whether in rain, sun, or wind, may this land blessed be. Whether walking or in deep sleep, may this land blessed be. Whether by day or, or in obscurity, may this land blessed be. Um, prayer and fervor. Equip a prayer inventory and then press LT to invoke it. Prayer and some combat techniques use up fervor. Attack and execute enemies to fill up your fervor bar. What did I do? I budged up is what I did. I got one out of 38 babies, children of moonlight. You'll find them caged all over Custodia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Okay. I like rescuing babies. Open your map. Okay, so this. Oh, okay. I don't even need to duck. I can just press the button. That doesn't even raise my magic back up. Wow, okay. Interesting. Um, what? This, this person looks like they're being tortured while combing their hair. This person definitely looks sick as hell. This person seems to have gotten stabbed. Whoops. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kisses of wounds. Few remain here who can still employ it, but Tirso is my name. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. 
time outside these walls, but if your penance happens to carry sorrowful, be the. Okay. You have acquired Dove Skull. Rosary beads. Equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can carry. You can equip. A dope skull. Skull of a bird drilled as a as a collet as a co as a collet. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens the patient's one's defense. That morning, when the bonfires were lit and the convicts were raising their ghastly pleas to the indifferent inquisitors, a white dove came down from heaven and perched on the shoulder of a prisoner where it stayed until it burned with him. Well, I could go... Come here, little bird. Come here, little bird. My monitor turned off. What's over here? Penitent one, you carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. And wipe away our tears. With a sword? Because it is an act of penitence. <laughs> the virtue of Mia Kupa hath ascended. Mia Koopa Shrines. Visit Mia Koopa Shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend Tears of Atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mia Koopa's strength to access more powerful techniques. Oh, is this where I level up? Yeah, because the eight figure sign, it's probably this, yeah. Okay. Uh, the Penitent One performs a fourth combo finish attack. Uh, last word. Sinful Wraith. Concentrates the power of the Mia Koopa on the blade, allowing the Penitent One to release its full potential in a single but increasingly devastating attack. Um, Weight of Sin. It takes advantage of the speed of a fall to perform a powerful plunge attack. Uh, sacred thrust. The penitent one takes advantage of the dodge impulse to thrust Mia Culpa at the enemy's furthest away. Uh, hold X. Uh, down plus X while falling. Uh, Feverous Blood. It's a sacred technique that allows the bearer of the Mia Culpa to use the cut of its blade to bless its own blood and turn it into a throwing weapon. It consumes fervor. Fervor, fever, 
I don't know how to say that. Thou hast called upon the winch of the Order of the True Shrine. In this place, we gather the remains of those who were separated and forgotten, so we can grant them holy burial, as our charitable rule prescribeth. Help us these poor souls. O oh, penitent one in silence, the Order blesses you. In this place, we gather the remains of those who were separated. Help us these poor souls. In this place, help us these poor souls. Come down, little bird. Okay. Can't reach the birdie just yet. Uh, you have acquired Fallons of Brandon the... Alan's Brandon the Grave Digger. Brandon Joshua Mullins dug the graves of hundreds throughout his life, uh, whether friend, family, or foe. But when the chaos arose, there was no one left to return the favor. Wasteland of the Burial Churches. Chop, chop. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. There's also a bottom. Yeah, the blue is marked as where I'm located. Can't go down there because of the spikes. There is hidden walls. Kind of doubt it. Oh. Oh. I chopped his head off. Gonna have to learn how to use this sword. You have acquired Phalanx of Arthur the Sailor. He spent his whole life looking after a mysterious totem. This evidence would prove the existence of an impossible castle built under the sea, protected by its incessant 
waves. Oh God, regret. I regret everything. Oh! You have acquired... a uvula of proclamation. When the uvula is equipped, you have a chance of earning tears of atonement when destroying an object. Uh, decree from His Holiness Escrabar. It shall be called the Anointed Legion, said His Holiness. Under the armor, their bodies shall be covered with bandages anointed with oils that I myself will bless. It will protect the mother of mothers as I will protect them. Well, I was gonna say, do these enemies come back? But no. But okay. Oh, uh, you have acquired Capitate of Barak the Herald. Whether executions or lashings, Barak was always there to proclaim them loudly, but his voice broke down gradually as day by day he had to announce the sentences of his entire family. sure if I hit them. surprised but I'm a little bit surprised oh. I need a heal Oh, he's attacking with a moose. And has a, a woman on top of his head. Hmm. 
Oh, what the heck? Okay, that, that should be death, right? Looks like death to me. Oh, there we go. So you can hold on. Um, I don't know where to go. I'm probably gonna end up dying, but it's not gonna be a big deal. Oh. I choose up. is where olive trees wither. Pressing X. a oh, wall climbing. Pressing X when jumping against certain s surfaces to thrust your sword into the wall. While hanging, press A to jump or RT to jump down. Hell yeah. Nice. Okay. I found a safe spot, everyone. Everyone, I found a safe spot. Exemplaris as communications. This can ex is that. Jesus, why couldn't you do that the first time? You have acquired Heart of the Virtuous, virtuous Pain and Sword Hearts. Equip a Sword Heart and Mia Culpa to modify its property. They grant powerful upgrades, but this always comes at a price. It's marked on my map. Is it? Oh, it was saying that the guilt was there. Uh, nope. And there's no way I can mark anything on my map, right? Nope. Well, that's not good. The little baby underneath this thing. That's gonna be annoying. Oh, come on! I'm pressing up on the damn D-pad, dude. It's not even the joystick. Oh my gosh. This is so scary. Ah. Okay. So I can either go down and right, or I can go up and left. I don't think I ever saw that. These lines are so weird. Like, why are why is this one thicker than this one? Um. But. I don't know which way to go. Uh, 
I think I'll just, I'll go up. That's where the safe spot is. Which means when I die, I'll just have to go straight instead of constantly turning back. Uh, inventory. Oh. Oh, no, I know. I do not want to equip that. You have acquired Radius. Radius of Helser the Poet. The work of the poet John Clark. Helser had a sadly posthumous posthumous successor, especially his poem to the Red Leaf. The poem was found next to his corpse severed by a fallen tree. The post of that, whatever that was. Contrite and humiliated be the heart, penitent one in silence. You stand before what remains of Gemino. Oh, do not fret for me. The cold is merciful, for it leaves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me, here in this iron tomb, lengthening distress more and more. To a promised land you direct your march, to the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees. The ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Take this. Acquired empty golden thimble. Now, let my numbed arm become another branch of this withered olive tree. Hurry up, I can still hear the call. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees. The ones that ended up scorched as my last wish, before it is too late for me. Huh. Empty golden thimble. Thimble adorned with gold, carrying an inscription that reads, Only cold gold can carry the redeeming oil. Uh, number one, a young villager named Arya had such a beautiful and pious face that even as a child, statue sculptures took her as a model for the creations. Her face became so recognizable that little by little people took her as the living, breathing image of divinity until it reached a point where they ended up taking her out on procession and even replacing their own images. Such was the fervor around her that she could not hear to be mistaken with the divinity. Bear. She could not bear to be mistaken with the divinity and burned her face with boiling oil to gift her pious beauty to God and took up the habits of a Convent. Oh. Oh, thank. Oh. Okay. The sword has a very Very large range, that's for sure. on to but Jesus Of 
course. Can't say that I'm the biggest fan of uh, of this right now. The, the camera is just really dumb. Acquired incense. Incense garlic. Bulb white as bone. Very hard to find. Its intense aroma, reminiscent of sandalwood, is only noticeable on rainy days, betraying its hiding place. It was sought after by the herbalist with the best sense of smell for its miraculous properties. Confession of Terso, Part 6. Ever since then, our pious kisses have saved hundreds from the affections of the miracle that ravages these lands and from then on our congregation has been called that of the kissers of wounds Nothing there. It says there's a door here. Maybe I need a lamp or something, but I don't know. Still hit me with the damn rock.
Okay. There we go. You have acquired remains. Remains of ten, uh, Tentudia's hair. Remain of the thorned hairs of novice Tentudia that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive the holy burial. Tentudia spent several years in that nunnery, and as she grew up, it became harder and harder to hide her hair. It wouldn't stop twisting and growing thorns, and the blood from the wounds it caused her did not take long to stain her pure white habit. The nuns, upon realizing, were frightened by it, and soon it began considering her cursed and a heretic, just as the parents of the girl that featured that feared would happen. Adding an entire bottom layer that has nothing. Okay, so now I can either decide to go up or left. I'll go up in case there is a safe spot up there. Yeah. 
Empty, empty bile vessel. Vessel made of crystal and gold capable of holding the hollowed bile that emanates from the morning fountains. Get up and tell us what you witnessed, said the scribe without adverting his gaze from the paper. I received an order from the exhumation of a penitent who had been buried about a year ago, answered the gravedigger. He was well loved in Al Albero, and many parishioners approached his grave, but when I dug him up, we saw blood coming from a crack in his sarcophagus, blood red as wine. Those who were there rushed to open the lid of the coffin and carried him on their shoulders, watching as blood gushed out from its sides. Others ran to their houses, searching for buckets and bottles to keep all that blood that wouldn't stop flowing out. It's gonna be a uh... <sighs> clutch moment here. I hope I don't die. Uh, Occipital of Tequila the Metal Smith. Tequila was not your everyday metal smith. Skulls were the basis of his creations with jewel skulls his specialty. His last wish was to become the most beautiful piece in his collection. I mean, it only makes sense, right? <laughs> Wow, I do not know why I took damage and then went below Wow No What the heck is this? Gosh. <laughs> I freaking soft lock the game. I can't press any buttons. Oh my lordy lord. Lord, where art thou, Lord? Wait. Uh, 
Muted bell. Muted bell. Tin bell, now empty. Strangely, one could swear to hear a slight tinkling in the presence of strange energy. Slightly protects its wearer from attacks of magical nature. Um, tears of atonement when destroying an object. Okay, so I can go left or I can continue going up, and I think up is a dead end. Yet a dead end, that's for sure. Piece of a tombstone, piece of a ceramic slab, strangely found on the snowy peaks. Those from the village rarely left their arid lands to face the cold of the mountains. But this tombstone had undoubtedly belonged to someone from Albero. The fragment confers resistance to falls, eliminating recovery time. Um, I don't think I've read this. When he enters that room full of painting and statues, he was surprised to find under a dirty sheet the marble figure of a man who seemed to offer him something. Something lustrous that, held, that he held in his cold stone hands caught his attention. A shapeless fruit, the size of an apple, with a silvery glow and a delicious appearance. Hungry as he was, he took it, but when he tried to bite it, he had to hold back a yelp of pain, for the fruit turned out to be made of metal. Confused, he grabbed a nearby stone and smashed the fruit with all his might, managed to make a small crack in it, from which a dense reddish liquid poured. Without thinking it twice, he drank the liquid, which tasted salty like blood. It makes sense. Piece of a tombstone. It is said the Alboro graveyard is even older than Alboro itself. It was built even before the church was erected. It was a graveyard isolated from everything in this arid ochre land. Inside, it considered unholy, the church did not take long to find out about this and dug all the tombs up, scattering the remains around, across the fields. That's when the Brotherhood of the Genuine uh, Sepulchre was founded, in charge of collecting the remains of the dead and giving them a second burial. I have kept this piece of clay tombstone since then. Eliminating the fragment confers resistance to falls, eliminating recovery time.
Um, this is probably a boss. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Sister of mine, a sigh foretold to you. Someone is heading towards the Forbidden Gate. I didn't mean it, I swear. Someone who seeks the purge and excommunication of all that is sacred and rests there. No, no. Do not place your doubts on me. I am ready. Uh, Convent of Our Lady of the... Charred Visage. Save point? Save point. Am I ever going to see a save point in my life again? It's probably down here, to be honest. Right? 